Ooh, hey you guys, welcome back. Oh, maybe I'm too close. I feel like I can't see me. <laughs> welcome back to day eight. Today we're talking about sleep slash dreams. Um, I'm going to start today off with um, a Bible verse. It say, be gentle, be kind, be humble, be meek, and patient. Um, sleep. Um, before I jump into that, I just want to say um, that I worked out this morning well I did a warm up workout and then I worked out before recording um had my shake today been drinking my water I just want y'all to know that I'm so serious about this 30 day fast um and, and trying to improve my health to state my case um but sleep since i've been having these health issues i haven't been sleeping well um sleep is like a it's like a love hate relationship especially when you're trying to be successful um they say you need eight hours of sleep to function as an adult but then, if you get them eight hours of sleep, then you're not being successful because successful people can't sleep eight hours a day or you're missing out on opportunities to grow and keep moving forward. But I haven't been sleeping well, guys. I've been having like these heart flutters the doctors want me to see a heart doctor about it but that keeps me up up at night and um I used to have used to feel this feeling in my stomach I don't feel it too much anymore but I used to feel it all the time and that's why I've been so persistent on trying to find the right doctor. And I hope through these videos that somehow I'm able to help somebody else with my story and also find a good doctor that still cares about actually helping people. And it's so many of these doctors nowadays are in a pharmaceutical pocket that they don't even care to try to help people no more it seem like it just seem like they just want you to keep coming in so they can keep writing you prescriptions that you may or may not even need when there could be alternative ways to heal yourself but they won't tell you that they just want you to take pills 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 so i am doing this fast as my art alternative way of trying to fix myself since i can't find a doctor to take me seriously to show that to figure out why do i have this swelling in my stomach that they seem to think it's not so serious um, they keep telling me to wait 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 come back wait wait some more and it's like black women is on the high side of death because of situations like this like them going to the doctor expressing um what's going on with them 
and the doctor not even listening to them just just subscribe them well give them some pills and tell them to go about their way and then later they go home and die or something like that just like I was reading this lady her name was Felicia West just had a baby was telling them the doctors that she was having you know problems and instead of them doing something about it they telling her to wait trying to you know putting cold uh, cloths on her and just doing everything but actually helping her while she's already in the hospital just had a baby and end up dying in the hospital it's like so many cases I wonder I'm like is it because I'm black is it because I'm poor and then I'm like it can't be because I'm poor because well I'm not poor but I ain't well off I should just say but look at um, PDDX's wife she had plenty of money to keep her alive they still sent her home to die and it's like black people have no safe haven it's like nowhere at all the doctors out here killing us just to be killing us it's the police killing us just to be killing us it's not even like we really doing anything wrong but yet we portrayed all over this social media that we are just horrible just this horrible race that everybody needs to be aware of and it's like everybody wants the they want the the swag of being black being because everything a black person do is just it's just cool it, it don't matter what we do if it's dancing the way we sing the way whatever we do it just come out cool and effortlessly and everybody want that but then when it comes to what every what black people actually are going through when they're not looking cool it's like Everybody want to turn a blind eye and act like it don't exist until it happens to them. And then it's like a, um, a tragedy. Uh, it's a tragedy when it happened to you, but it's not a tragedy when it happens to me. Why? Because I have a deeper tan than you. We both human. We both bleed the same way. I feel like I should... Um, be treated as such we're we're the same treat us all the same i'm all about equality and fairness all across the board this double standardness and all of that is killing us it's ridiculous but i feel like i'm going off the subject a little bit but dreams i've been been sick for a while and I keep asking God like tell me what is wrong with me can you can you help me just let me know what's wrong so that I can try to get the help that I need to get better and in the dreams I keep seeing me in the hospital having surgery and um a baby is being removed from my stomach i don't know what to think i know the swelling in my stomach keep getting worse and all the doctors that i've been to keep refusing to do surgery so then the last doctor I went to she told me about a procedure where they could put a camera in through my belly button and look I asked her what I got to do to get that procedure done she started talking about 
it takes steps and it's gonna be a while it's gonna me having to keep coming back and keep coming back and I'm just thinking in myself like I'm in pain and been sick for a while why would you want to prolong my sickness when you could just go in there with the camera today and just look around and see if there's something in there making me sick because you didn't looked everywhere else and they ain't seen nothing but every doctor keep refusing to look in my stomach and it's just been so weird uh it's people out here I don't know, I feel like don't really want help, don't really want to live, just, they just ready to find any excuse to leave this earth, and it seemed like everybody do their best to save them, but the ones that really want to be here, that know their purpose, and is trying to accomplish something and help people people leave them out to die and just suffer alone and i just i don't understand that yes everybody need help um nobody is more important than the other but i just feel like it should be fair all the way across um Deja vu. Do you think that's a that's just a dream, a premonition? Is that God's way of talking to you? I've been having deja vu for a long time, as people say, since I was like a kid, and I was, I never knew what it meant to just have those little clips of it seemed like the future, and then later on somehow it's like you remember the dream and you like it's like deja vu like yeah but i've been having i've been having these dreams and every dream that i've had has come to pass so i'm i'm just wondering what's the difference from this one Nobody has proven me to be wrong. Nobody has even tried to look to see if it's, it's been a while now. So I'm pretty sure if it is like a form of ectopic pregnancy and it's a baby in there, it's dead probably most likely by now. So it's like... what you just go leave me to die you're not even gonna try to look to see if it's something just all i'm asking is just for somebody to look i know some people might say i'm crazy but for a while i thought i was crazy i was like i'm feeling this movement going on in my stomach and people keep telling me that it's not wrong with me, that they don't see nothing, blah, blah, blah. And then one day I hugged somebody and they felt the thumping or movement or whatever it is that I had been feeling in my stomach. And it just threw me off guard because I felt it. But I wasn't expecting them to feel it. And they was like, what is that? And I was like, so you felt it. So I'm not crazy. So I'm not the only person to have the feel this going on. It's not just in my head. This is for real. But doctors keep refusing to look in that person refuses to help me so it's like I feel stuck like what am I supposed to do I feel so helpless 
All I want to do is make sure I'm here to raise my daughter, you know, watch her grow up, live out her dreams to be a, she said she want to be a doctor, but I think she only saying that right now because I've been sick, but it might change later because she also said she want to be an astronaut. So who knows, but I just want to see her grow up and accomplish whatever it is that she want to accomplish. But I feel like nobody is taking me serious. It's very rare that I'm wrong. If I'm wrong about something, it's because I second guess my first initial thought, and which was the right answer and came with the wrong answer. But it's very rare that I'm wrong. And It just don't make no sense to me. Um, I, when this first started, I told the doctors because I was I I work out like all the time. I haven't been working out since I've been sick, but before I got sick. I worked out all the time because, I don't know, I'm just like a, a little workout junkie. I'm always working out, but I told them when all of this first started, I was waist training and working out real heavily. And I kept noticing as I... um I kept noticing as I was working out that my stomach kept getting bigger. Like, I'm working out, but my stomach kept getting bigger and it would hurt for me to wear pants. So I had to start, you know, buying stretchy pants. And for like three or four months, I didn't have a period. So that's why I thought I was pregnant. I went to the doctor or whatever. They said they didn't see nothing. Well, yeah, that's what he said. He said he ain't see nothing. But it was like, so why is my stomach all of a sudden just swelling and just keep getting bigger and bigger? And they didn't check my thyroid said ain't that they checked my blood they said I've had slightly high levels of hormones um, I got this pain in my stomach my, uh, my stomach is swollen and hard but they don't know what's causing it and I had a couple of doctors that just you know inappropriately said that I was just fat. Some doctors, they wouldn't even listen to me because they just felt like, because they went to school to be a doctor, they just know way more than me. But when I looked up my symptoms, it, it kept saying ectopic pregnancy, ectopic pregnancy, abdominal ectopic pregnancy. And all the women had the same, same thing. Like, had false, you know, it said that they wasn't pregnant, but they was feeling something moving inside them. Like, they was having stomach pains and nausea and boob sore and, like, irregular periods. Having all the same things that I'm having. And all they had to do was go into the hospital one time and they immediately got surgery. The doctors did surgery to investigate what's going on. But for me, nobody is doing that. And I noticed the difference in the cases was they was white and I was black. Um, simple as that. They was all white, and 
I'm this black girl. And the doctors even told me that they feel like it would be impossible because one, I am black. And they said this usually only happens in cases of white women and women that's on birth control. So since I'm not white or on birth control, they told me it's impossible without even trying to investigate to make sure, 100% sure, that that's what it, you know, that it's not that. Um, they just want to go off of these machines that's in these tests that's man-made. Man man-made. Man has a fault. Like, no man is perfect. So, if no man is perfect, why do you think your machines would be any better? Like, you messed up somewhere, so I'm pretty sure these machines go mess up too. Because an imperfect imperfect person can't make nothing perfect. Only a perfect God can make something perfect. But... I keep having these dreams about me having surgery and then I'm removing the baby. I don't know. People think I'm crazy. I don't know. Who's to say? Won't nobody even look to prove me wrong. I love proving people wrong. So that's why I'm doing this fast. Cause I love to prove people wrong when, especially when I know I'm 100% right, I love proving people wrong. And I got 20 more, 26 more days of exercising and drinking these shakes. I got a scale, so I started, my starting weight is 180. So, if I'm just fat, like these doctors say, I should lose weight. Because ain't nothing wrong with my thyroid. So, I should just lose all the weight, if that's the case. And I just feel like by the end of these videos in 30 days, if my stomach is still swollen like it is, I just, any doctor out there that really cares about helping people, Will you help me? Um, I just want to feel better. It's just... I don't know. It's scary to know that your life is at the mercy of somebody else's hands. For church people to tell you anything is possible through God. And then turn around and tell you when you tell them something you feel like God is trying to tell you. To try to tell you that you got mental issues or you crazy. It's like, is anything possible through God or... Is it just the stuff that you read and in the Bible that you feel like it's only possible through God? Because you sitting here telling me every Sunday that I should believe that a woman could get pregnant without even having sex. You telling me that I should believe this man walked on water. This other man survived living in a lion's den overnight. This other one rolled in the belly of a whale. You know, you want this other man able to part the sea and walk across the water. You want me to believe all of that. But when I tell you something that, that God has showed me in the dream that could actually be a factor in to why I'm sick and you tell me that I'm crazy and have mental issues. That right there is why 
I feel like you gotta build your own relationship with God because that right there is enough to make somebody be like why should I believe in God why should I listen to these people that talk about God when they don't even believe themselves not really they don't really believe because I'm oh, sorry y'all my weird cat and climbed up the chair and up my back They don't really believe in God like they say they do because if they did, they wouldn't be sitting here telling you what's impossible. I'm just, I don't know. So much stuff has happened for people to just be saying what's impossible. I don't know. It's like... You telling me to have faith in this being that I could never see, but you don't even have faith in some of the stuff that you do see. And it's just hard to know what you should be doing, what you should be believing in. All I, all I know is that I'm really sick. These symptoms is real. I'm not faking it. And this is every time I ask God, this is the answer that I keep getting. The same answer that I keep getting. It's like different dreams, but they all result into the same end result. No, God doesn't, I don't hear no voice, like, I don't know if that's what people think that because God speaks to you, you're supposed to just hear this deep voice that's supposed to make you tremble and, and fear and stuff like that. I don't think God wants you to fear Him. He wants you to respect Him, but I don't think He wants you to fear Him. And God knows how everybody learns. Like I said, I'm a visual learner. So most of the time when I get messages from him, it's through dreams. And all the dreams that he has sent me has never been wrong. He sent me dreams to let me know when a significant other was cheating on me. And every time he had he showed me that dream, that was when that significant other was cheating. So and it's been it's been other dreams also that have come to pass. So I just figure out I just keep thinking to myself why would he be wrong now why would this dream be wrong now cuz none of the other stuff they can't they can't tell me what's wrong so how do you know I'm wrong how do you know I'm wrong if you haven't even looked to see if I am wrong you ain't even got to give me the surgery. Just do the camera. What's so hard in putting the camera in just to see if there is something sitting on top of my intestines. Irritating my stomach. Because for some reason my stomach is also producing a lot of acid. That they don't know why it's doing that. And they say it's irritated, red, and swollen. But you won't look on, on the outside of it to see if it's something irritating. A baby is nothing more than a parasite. And if 
I was pregnant at one point and I didn't get the help that I needed and now it's a dead fetus rotting inside of me. It's still a parasite and it's still sucking everything out of me until it's removed or until I die. Who knows? All I can say is I know what God has revealed to me in a dream and I hope that through my faith that somebody will believe me and take me serious and look into it and and show that I'm right because I know I'm right and it'll help somebody else's faith also so when you know when God is telling you something and you know you are right to stay strong and don't let these people out here cause they cause when God wants you to do something he'll make sure it get done and when the enemy try to block you he will put you in a position so big to show his his miracle his his work and I feel like that's what God is doing he put me me a nobody that nobody ever cared to listen to or vouch for or anything putting a nobody in a position to show his his miracle and blessings but I gotta get out of here you guys this is my end time we got some company we getting we getting out the house today gonna go get some dinner I love y'all see y'all tomorrow thank y'all for coming to visit